Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Everything really good, teacher. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Um, hey, teacher, you, you look you look very relaxed, teacher. Do I? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you hair or I don't know. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> that is a compliment. <laughs> okay, good. I don't know why, but I don't know if I'm feeling relaxed or not. I, I have no idea. Um, I guess, I don't know. I'm feeling okay. But thank you. Maybe maybe you have a, you had a, a, a relaxed day today. Actually, no, just the opposite. <laughs> I had a very stressful day today. <laughs> maybe that yeah maybe that's why because i'm just kind of like it's just kind of like winding off from the whole day it's been like very you know and i can relax a little bit <laughs> and where, where do you work teacher a day well i work from home but um it's still a, it's still very busy because um yeah it's 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 really crazy in my home so you know that's why <laughs> yeah by the way Ronald, oh, okay. i can't see you I, I i i can hear you but i can't see you no i am driving from my work to, to my oh, house okay, okay when i ride i i will try to to turn on the camera okay okay i see i see okay yeah all right oh okay but you're still you're still at the at the church. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Hello, guys. Welcome, everybody. For the others, I haven't said hi to. Welcome. Let me see who I have here. Well, I, I think I, I've said hi to Jose, um, Claudia. Hi. Hello, Claudia. Hello, Irvin. Hello, Jerry. Hello, Andres. Francisco, hello, hello, Anna. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good, good. I'm pretty good, Jerry. We've we've been missing you these days. Mm -hmm. uh, me? Yeah. Just yesterday, yeah. I was. I didn't. I didn't connect because I had problem with the internet. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Internet problems are very common nowadays. Yes, because in that time when it's raining frequently. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I, I totally get it. Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, uh, first of all, I, I wanted to congratulate you guys because I see that you were able to finish your, your midterm. So good for you, excellent. Um, some of you even finished the final, so that's wonderful. That's even better. Um, so good for you guys. You're you're on time. You're working hard. Um, let me tell you that I'm very very proud of you guys because uh, you are definitely putting a lot of effort into it. And I know that it's I know that it's a challenge. Uh, when you're working, you know, you have other things that, you know, going on in your life and you're still um, not only connecting to classes, but also, uh, you know, doing your homework and uh, doing the, the platform. And that's just excellent. Like you guys, I know it's hard work, but trust me, it's going to pay off at the end. Um, you have no idea how many opportunities you're going to have once you, you know the language really well right? There's just so many opportunities out there. So um, it's going to be worth it. So I know there's a lot of sacrifice right now, but I promise you it's going to be worth it. Okay. So I'm really proud of you guys. Um, yeah, just keep up that way. Okay, well, um, okay, I see some people, but I don't see their faces. I know they're connected, but I don't see your faces. So um, maybe you guys can help me out with your cameras because right now I'm going to be taking the attendance. Um, so let's start right now with the attendance. I have Anna Claudia. Uh, 
Ana Claudia. Hello, can you hear me? Ana Claudia. Ana Claudia. Yeah, I think she's having it. Think... Ana Claudia. No, I think she's having uh, problems with her microphone. Can you hear us though, Ana Claudia? You can't hear us? No, I think she can't hear us. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can help. Yeah. She's connecting right now. Um, Present. I don't know if you are taking attendance. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually we're, we're trying to get through to you. And ah, okay. Uh, this yes, I didn't have sound. I don't know what happened, and I was connecting and disconnecting. But yeah, present we, teacher. We noticed. <laughs> Okay, good. All right. So you're here. Okay. Okay. Uh, Andres? Present teacher. Okay. Wonderful. Welcome, Andres. Claudia? Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Claudia. Uh, Edgar? Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Edgar. Heidi? Oh, yeah. Heidi? Present teacher. Wonderful. And Irvin? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Irvin. And um, Irene? She's not here? No? Okay, all right. And what about Ivan? Is Ivan here? No, right? I don't see Ivan. Okay. Mm, what about Jose Montes? I guess not, right? And Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Josue. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Josue. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Juan Francisco. Thank you. Jerry. Present teacher. Uh, teacher, I have problem with the camera. I am Thank going you. to. Re, re, reconnect the, to the chat because I can't start the camera. Okay, that's that's fine. Okay. We'll we'll be waiting here for you. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Luis. Present. Okay, welcome, Luis. And Natalia. Natalia is not here, no? Okay. What about Ronald? Is Ronald here? Present teacher. All right, welcome Ronald. How about Wendy? Is Wendy here? Wendy, no, okay. All right, what about Werner? Werner is not here either. And Yvonne, is Yvonne here? Present. Okay, welcome Yvonne. All right. Um, okay, so let me just make sure I didn't miss anybody. I didn't hear Irene, Ivan, Jose Montes, Natalia, Wendy, and Warner. Okay, all right, perfect. Let's continue guys then. Okay, we are going to start. Uh, first of all, um, I have a question for you. Were you able to finish? Did everybody finish the exercises um, that were for transitions? No. Yes, no? Guys? Someone? I finish, I don't know. How was your, your question, teacher? My question was, did everybody finish the um, the exercises that I signed uh, about the transitions? Um, I'm not sure. We need like five minutes. You need five minutes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just a second. I, I don't know what's going on with... We were reviewing all the class together. I don't know what's going on with this account. 
my 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 bar it's 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 not there <laughs> okay adivinar cuál es cuál okay well anyways um yeah i think i i got it so just give me a second guys quiero ver ya ni me acuerdo okay so um i'm going to share with you the my powerpoint hopefully it works and you got can you see it Yes, the chair. Yes. Yes. Okay. So today um, our topic is production line vocabulary. The facilitator, of course, is uh, Jessica Guerrero, and the, it's the intermediate um, two, and it's class number sixteen. <clears throat> All right. So. Um, so this is the uh, additional transition review. Uh, you guys, you told me then that you have not finished. Is that correct? You have not finished this? I know that some of you have because I even saw it when I was, um, I was um, visiting the groups. But am I, am I correct to say that some groups are not finished then? And you need a little bit more time? Yes, teacher. Okay, so how much time? I guess that five minutes is gonna be okay. Five minutes, yeah? Yep. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna give you guys five minutes. Um, just that I'm going to have to make the groups again. So just give me a moment while I make the groups. All right, so um, just remind me guys who you were working with. Ana Claudia, who are you working with? I was working with uh, Andres. Andres. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Um, what about uh, Claudia? Who are you working with? I believe with Wendy. Okay, great. Uh, what about uh, Edgar? Who were you working with, Edgar? Uh, Yvonne. But Yvonne, okay. But Yvonne is, oh yeah, okay, perfect. All right, uh, and what about Irvin? Or Irvin, you were not here, right? Yesterday I had a problem with my computer. Now in the internet, my computer is bad. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, teacher. That's okay, no problem. I just wanted to know if you were working with someone, but no. Okay, Heidi, how about you? Who were you working with? I was working with Jose Wilfredo. Got it. Um, okay. What about um, Irene? Who are you working with, Irene? I'm working with Claudia. With Claudia. Yes, Miss. I work with Irene. And Wendy? I don't remember where. Wendy, who are you working with? Yes, teacher, I hear. Yeah, I know. But, but, you but yesterday, I the, the final the final of the class, I was I wasn't work because I I was a problem with my my. You weren't connected. Yeah. Mm, okay. Bah. Got it. Okay, I'm going to just add you with with um. Okay, I'm just going to add you then with Claudia and Irene. Okay, since you were not okay. Okay. Um, Andres, who are you working with? With Ana Claudia, teacher. Yes. Mm. You already asked me. <laughs> ah, I know. I don't know why. Me borró, entonces. It's yes, but not. <laughs> es que tenía dos dispositivos, pero ya, ya desconecté uno. No sé si fue eso. Oh, maybe. 
Mm. Ya, yeah, that was a possibility. Sí, porque se me, ajá, o sea, ya lo había asignado y, y de repente se me salió. Okay. Sí, yo creo que es. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's okay. Uh, Ivan? Present teacher. Okay. Um, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> By the way. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> <I'm so mad. laughs> okay. So, um, who are you working with, Ivan? When? Yesterday. Yeah, at the end of the class. Uh, with Luis. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Um, what about Josue? Who are you working with, Josue? Yeah. Francisco. Francisco. Okay, good. All right. And uh, Jerry, who are you working with? Yesterday, I didn't work. Uh, I didn't stay at the house in the, the chat yesterday. Okay. Uh, Ronald, who are you working with? Natalia. Okay, but Natalia is not here. Okay, so I'm going to ask you then to work with. Um, jury. With, yeah, with jury. Okay. And I'm going to assign Irvin that was not here with uh, Ivan and Luis, okay? All right, and I'm only gonna give you guys five minutes. Now for the people that are finished, just review, okay? Review, make sure, like go over the answers, make sure that you have the correct answers, okay? So here we go, let's open up the rooms. Hello. Uh, let's see. We just switch it yesterday because right because because was was repeated duplicated mm. you know i just have a concern with the with the beginning um With, uh, I don't know if we can use right there. Let me, let me remind. Um, maybe, let me, re I don't remember well the meaning of although, although, let me just make sure. Mm, I don't know. What do you think if we use, if we switch and we use at the beginning, although, and we change that furthermore at the end. So we use although at the beginning, I guess it will be better. Okay, I will try to. Uh-huh. Just switch it. Uh -huh. Does allow you to, to make a... Yes, I think it will be better because oh, there are more. Eh, pesan más que los inconvenientes. So, 
when we say the benefits part of with the drug bags, uh, we can say in addition, most of the disadvantages can be reduced throughout the carefully planning. Mm -hmm. And I guess that we can use also the also the number also, three. Uh, the number three, the also and perhaps most obvious disadvantages of online classes is the is the lack is the lack of face to face interaction. Then period. Then we say teachers cannot gouge it. I guess that is gouges. Teacher, can you help me with the pronunciation? The pronunciation with the with this word. Gosh. Gosh. Yes. Okay. Teacher cannot gouge. Uh, their uh, students no verbal reaction. Then this is the number four. And I use because. Number four, you said. Because, because, because a student, uh, because uh, I, mm -hmm. I use because, because uh, then uh, they say an explanation. Because the student means the teacher, mm -hmm. nonverbal cause, tone of voice, pauses, and gestures. They cannot spontaneously ask a question or volunteer an answer. Then the number five, moreover, they moreover have less opportunity to get acquainted with their fellow students. Then to mitigate these disadvantages, teachers can post videos online so students can see and hear them almost as clear as in a large class. They can also plan web, webinars in which students can ask questions and get answers in a real time, either by phone, Skype, uh, or online chat. Lack of a student interaction can be a Interaction can be reduced by incorporating opportunities for the students to introduce themselves and socialize through so icebreaker type games into the class schedule. Then the greatest advantage of online learning, I guess that, uh, I guess, I don't know, is it, is it. Great expansion of opportunities to many was access. The traditional education was very limited due to geograph geography, geography, income, or virus disabilities. Online learning is accessible to anyone who was or can get the use of a computer. Anywhere in the world, it enables it enables major reductions in school expenses or overhead uh, buildings and utilizes, as well as student expenses for transportation, tax, and something and something and sometimes okay. living costs. Then I use uh, also also computers what? can. Uh, uh -huh. Also, also. Mm -hmm. uh, also, also computers can accommodate physical limitation with text to speech, enlargeable print, put or a. Hi guys, uh, how are you doing? Are we finished? No, teacher, um, not yet. No. No. How much more time do you need? Um, maybe three minutes. Three more minutes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Um, I'm going to have a...
Computers can accommodate physical limitation with text speech. Mm, sería... Altout. Altout es a pesar de que. Altout computers can accommodate physical limitation with text speech and legible print for or mouth operator controls and others adapters. Many students with disabilities have much better access to information than a traditional classroom. Sí, sí, Sería ho, no, However, ya la tenemos. However, ya estuvo. Uh -huh. Al, 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 con. Como tú dijiste. Al Tau. Al Tau. Ok, esa sería la eh, número. Tu, 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 tu. Sí, Number ¿verdad? Number six, ya. Yeah. Number six. Ok. Number seven. Luego. La oración comienza ahí. The disadvantage of online learning can be reduced. Its benefits are increasing, but sería aquí, ¿verdad? The disadvantages ah. of online learning can be reduced, but its benefits are increasing with each new technology. Creo que sería but. Pero no es. O because. Sí, porque dice, estamos en la penúltima, ¿verdad? Ajá, de disadvantage. Ay, perdón, perdón, yo me había ido a la otra, perdón. Yeah. Many students with disabilities have. Hi guys. Um, hello, Wendy. Hello, Warner. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Warner. Uh, hello, teacher. Hello, Wendy. I stay in my group, teacher, in my in my break room, because, but uh, I uh, open my my computer and I wait to the return and. Do you want me to add you to the other group? But yeah. Wendy? Wendy? Can you hear me? I, I have a bad uh, sign on. Okay. Can you want me to add you to the group? But I'm going to send you to the other group. Werner, how about you? Yes. Who are you working with? Yes. Excellent. Or who are you working with before? Okay, At the end of the class, who are you working with? Okay. No, Werner, con quien estaba trabajando? Ah, uh, so teacher. Uh, Ayer. Huh? Yesterday, um, teacher, ayer mi computadora se me arruinó y estaba con Wendy, creo, pero no logré ter no logré terminar nada. Okay, bye. Um, okay, no hay problema. Ah, pues, Wendy se regresó. Okay, um, I'm going to share. I'm going to share this screen so you can see what we're doing right now, um, and you can take a picture. So we're working with this. Okay. Okay. You can take a picture. Okay. All right, you took the picture? Yes, teacher. Okay, so um, I'm going to go to the other groups and I'm going to be closing the group soon, okay? 
So just give me a moment. Okay. Just give me one moment. Recording progress. Yeah, no. uh, are you finished? Yes. yes. We are already finished. Excellent. Okay. I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay, teacher. I tried to 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 drive because uh, I only uh, use uh, automatic. Mm, yeah. Um. Are you guys are finished? Yeah, yeah we're finished. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes. You don't need any more time? You ready? No, we're ready because we need to have a review. Okay, all right. No problem. Um, we're gonna be going to the main room in a moment then. Okay? okay. I'll, I'll call okay. you. Wendy, ¿qué pasó? Wendy. Wendy. Wendy, not here? Okay, well, I'm going to bring everybody back, Wendy, because um, I, I have a feeling that you're having problems with the internet. So I'm just going to bring everybody back. Pensaron que estaban en el limbo, niñas. Sí, pensamos que la misma nos había olvidado. No, hombre, si todos estábamos todavía trabajando. Sí, ¿y qué, qué, qué les pasaba? Es que como usted se lo había, lo había hecho cinco minutos, entonces pensaron que no la había llamado. Sí, no, es que el sí dije así. Eh, eh, we, we so, so... So preocupado. So worried. Uh -huh, it's so worried because. No dio pánico. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, no las voy a dejar ahí varados. Uh, no, no, o sea. Sí Como la... la pobre Wendy la vez pasada quedó en el limbo, va Wendy? Sí, pero bien, para saber qué les pasó esta vez. No, no lo que pasa es de que eh, les dije cinco minutos, pero. Al ir um, de grupo en grupo, me di cuenta que algunos grupos todavía no habían terminado. Entonces, decidí alargar un poquito más de tiempo. Okay. okay. All right. So, I'm guessing that now we're ready, right? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I think most of you guys, from what I can see, you guys are ready. So, uh, I'm going to start sharing. Um, so just give me a moment. Give me one moment while I figure this out. Uh, 
Okay. All right. Um, okay. So um, please tell me if you guys can see my PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. Oh, teacher. Okay, great. Perfect. Okay, so here we go. Additional transition review. Um, okay, so now let me explain something to you. Um, the majority of them are going to have one answer, but in some cases, there might be more than one answer. And if there's more than one answer, um, I will tell you, okay? All right, so let's start with the first one. What, right. what do you think is the first one? Even though? Although. 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 Good. Okay. I'm gonna write it. Although, make sure you have a capital letter, okay? Because that is at the beginning of the sentence. So, although online learning has both advantages and disadvantages, the benefits far outweigh the drawbacks. What's next? Uh, teacher. Uh -huh. I have a do. I have a do. Sure. Uh, sure. We can use even though. Um. Uh, but that's not part of the possible answers. I mean, it, like grammatically speaking, yes, you can use it. Mm -hmm. But for this activity, no, because it's not part of the, 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 the answers that you can choose from. You can choose from although, sorry, also, although, because, but even first, however, in addition, moreover, and similarly. So that's it. Okay. We only have to use the, the words that are on the yeah. uh, right above here. the... Yeah. Right here, okay. choose from these ones, only that. Okay. Okay, all right, next. Mm -hmm. You guys can, anybody can... Also? Also? Yeah. Could be. Mm. Or in addition. Mm-hmm. Good. There you go. Okay. In addition. Or. or when? Mm, no, because however is a contrast. And in addition is, is adding an idea. So it has to be another one that is adding an idea. So in addition or. Or what's one that is similar to in addition? Moreover. Very good. Moreover. We can also use moreover. Okay. And don't forget your commas. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That's important. Don't forget your commas. Okay. So in addition or moreover, most of the disadvantages can be reduced through careful planning. Next, the first. Good. The first, first. Mm -hmm. and perhaps most obvious disadvantage of online classes is the lack of face-to-face -face interaction. Uh, teachers cannot dodge their students' nonverbal reactions. Because. Because. No, we can. Okay. By the way, guys, we can't. We we never start a sentence with because. Mm -hmm. Also, also, but no, however, no, it's, 
It's an addition, and it's not a contrast. Addition. In addition. <laughs> Okay, yes. In addition. in addition is a possibility. Another possibility? Moreover. Yes, very good. And moreover is also another possibility. Moreover. And this one has, a, has another possibility. Also. What? Mm, oh. And also. Even? But after that, after it, it, the other work, uh, the paragraph gave a uh, explanation, teacher. Sorry. After uh, whatever uh, which work we are using, yeah, it could be in addition, whatever, and similar. The right. paragraph gave an explanation because say. Hey, uh, the word that we can use a student miss the teacher uh, no worry about class to avoid pauses and gesture okay just give me a second uh, uh, I can't get it to I'll just leave it like that. Okay. Um, can you guys see the answers or is this not a good color? The color is good. The okay. size is the <laughs> I know. The size is. Uh, How about yeah. that? Is that better? No. No. Red is good. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. That's. How about, how about this cut? No, that's worse, right? Okay. No, right. How about, um, this color? No? Still red? Yeah, no, it could be red. Is that oh, better or, or red better? Red is oh, better. Are good. Red is better? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, we'll keep red then. Or, or, or pink, maybe. Or pink. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. But you can try. <laughs> no, uh, no, red, red. Yeah, pink didn't look good. Red is the best. Okay, all right, red it is then. Okay, so in addition, moreover, and similarly. Okay. Um, sorry. Uh, similarly, okay. Um, uh, Jose, could you repeat what you were saying? Okay, I was saying that I don't know if is how I, I understand mm -hmm. because the paragraph says, uh, I, I think. So. I guess that was uh, uh, number four because um, I guess that is because because of the the use that word uh, the paragraph gave one explanation that is a students miss the teacher number of calls ton of voice pauses and gestures that's why I guess that is because. No, this is not an explanation. Um, you're saying first, the, the first idea is that the, uh, the, uh, uh, basically all of this is talking about the same thing because it says mm -hmm. first, blah, 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 blah. The main idea uh -huh. here is that the, the disadvantage of online classes is the lack of face-to-face -face interaction. That's the main idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... Um, This is the main idea. So everything goes back to this. So first of all, teachers cannot gauge their students' nonverbal reactions. Gauge means to like measure. Teachers cannot they can't measure. Uh -huh, because that 
Because a teacher cannot gauge their students' nonverbal reaction. Because there is no face-to-face because... -face interaction, right? Uh -huh. no. Another, and the, similarly, the students miss the teacher's nonverbal cues. Mm -hmm. Right? So, so both teachers can, can see their, the, 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 the students' faces, right? And they can't see their reactions very well. And as well, the students can't really see their teacher's uh, face very well in all the gestures. So both of them. Okay. Does that make sense, Jose? Yes, the true. Yes, yes, the true. So that's why it says you can use similarly because we're saying, okay, so in the same kind of idea, both the teacher can't, can't really um, get the ideas accused from the students from their interact from their face-to-face -face interaction and also the the, the students don't have mm -hmm. that interaction with the teacher either okay okay although i i have to kind of disagree with this because um well at least for example through zoom we can still see each other's faces Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not the same, right? It's not going to be the same, but yes, we can see each other's faces, and and um, maybe maybe the the disadvantage could be, uh, for example, if you is your like your device, the device that you're using. For example, some people use their cell phones, and mm -hmm. you you guys probably know that on the cell phone, it's a little bit more difficult to be able to see everybody's faces, right? So that, that may be a little bit of a challenge, but other than that, I think it's pretty much the same. Anyways, okay. let's continue. Um, so teachers cannot gauge their students' uh, nonverbal reactions. In addition, moreover, similarly, students miss the teacher's nonverbal cues, tone of voice, pauses, and gestures. They cannot spontaneously ask a question or volunteer an answer. They... Yeah. Robert. They even they even they even have less opportunity to get yes even mm, close they also. No, it's closer to say the even. Mm. What? No, they no. only saw. They saw. No. Also. Mm -hmm. Not too big. They also. Yeah. Oh, less opportunity. Yeah, they also. Why? Because we don't we never start a sentence with the word also. Also goes in the middle or yeah. at the end. They also have less opportunity to get acquainted with their fellow, fellow students. So also goes in the middle or at the end, but not at the beginning. Okay? Not as a transition anyway, uh, at least not in written English because Colloquially speaking, yes, you you can use it at the beginning, but not in, in written English. Okay. So they also have less opportunity to get acquainted with their fellow students. To mitigate this these disadvantages, teachers can also post videos online so students can see and hear them, uh, although almost as clearly as in a large group class. They can also plan webinars and need in which students can ask questions and get answers in real time, either by phone, Skype, or online chat. Lack of student interaction can be reduced by incorporating opportunities for students to introduce themselves and socialize, including icebreaker type um, games into the class schedule. Students can work on a project together or organize student uh, study groups via chat, Skype, chat, or instant messaging. The greatest advantage of online uh, learning is its great expansion uh, of opportunities um, to many whose access to traditional education was very limited. 
due to geography, income, or various disabilities, which means that, for example, um, maybe many of you would not have the opportunity of studying English at this time if we were if we would have to go if you had to go specifically to a to a, a place to study right like how many of you would go and study at eight o'clock at night from eight to ten at a specific place and then go home no probably mm -hmm. not right okay so that's <laughs> what I'm saying so geography that's what we mean by geography mm -hmm. income as well in the sense that um you know maybe like some people have to come from far away and they have to maybe they don't have money for the bus or money for the gasoline right so for the for the gas for their for their car so that that may also limit them and also the various disabilities maybe um, they have physical disabilities that don't allow them to be able to move from one area to another so that that could also be um, an opportunity that's a, like an advantage. Online learning is accessible to, any, to anyone who, is, who has or can get the use of a computer anywhere in the world. It enables many major reductions in school expenses for overhead buildings and util, building and utilities. So in other words, um, so as long as you have a computer and internet connection, you're ready to go, right? You can learn. And for the school, um, they don't have to be spending so much, right? They don't have to be spending like on utilities and things like that, right? So it's better for the schools too. As well as students' expenses for transportation, tax, and sometimes living costs. So in other words, um, students can also stop worrying about transportation, about the online, like the text, right? Like they have to have physically buy a text and maybe even... Um, in the case of like a uh, university, they have to go to live far away, right? And that's like living cost, right? So they have to be paying um, a place to live. All right, next, what, what, what would we put here? What about computers? Also. But you cannot start a sentence, right? With no, not really. Nor like in our case, we use right there similarly, but we now we don't know if it's correct. Mm. Let's try another one. Oh, however, let's try another one. However, is a is a contrast. <laughs> so no. <coughs> use even. Mm. First? No, I have some of first. Yeah. Because. Uh, now, remember what I told you guys? Yes. Uh, we can't start with the word because. Uh -huh. can't start the word because when it's just, you're going to say, for example, because I don't want to. We can't do that, okay? We're just saying simply because I don't want to. We can't simply do that, okay? Uh, we would have to say, for example, um, I am not going to go to the party because I don't want to. However, if we're using it as a connector, not as a transition, okay, but a connector, because this is a connector. Notice there's no transition here. There's no comma. Do you see a comma there? Oh. No, there's no comma. So it's not a transition. In this case, it's a connector, just like the word like if or when or things like that, those connectors. For remember what we talked about, um, we were talking about clauses. Yeah, we're talking about um, adverb clauses. So this is an <laughs> adverb clause. This is an adverb clause that tells me not when something happened, but why something happens, okay? So because computers can accommodate physical limitation with text to speech, enlargeable print, footer mouth operated controls, and other adaptions, many students with disabilities 
have much better access to information than in traditional classrooms. So this right here, um, this is the main idea of the sentence, right? This is the this is the independent clause. We could just simply say many students with disabilities have much better access to information than in traditional classrooms. The question is why? Why do they have much better access? And the reason is this, because computers can accommodate physical limitation with text to speech and legible print, foot or mouth operated controls and other adaptions. That's the reason why. Does that make sense for you? Yes, the true. Stop me if I do, if I just spoke in gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys do you guys know that expression? To speak in gibberish? No? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna write it in the chat. Can, can you type it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'll write it in the chat. Ew. Speak gibberish. Gibberish. Yeah. What does it mean? Well, okay. I'm I'm actually I'm I'm actually googling this because I'm not sure if gibberish is at an actual language or not. So let me just make sure if that's if it is or not. No, it isn't. Okay. So basically, gibberish uh, is just like um, in a language that is like basically it's it sounds like it's foreign, like it's another language, you don't understand it. It's just like when you call like in Spanish jerigonzas, right? It doesn't mm. sound like a, a real language. You, you don't understand it, okay? So speak gibberish means like you are speaking in, in a language that you don't, that other people don't, don't understand you. That's that's the mean that's the meaning of that expression. To, so I'm I'm asking you, do you guys understand what I'm saying, or did I just speak gibberish? Half and a half, teacher. Half and half. Okay. <laughs> no problem. No, no problem. Uh, what yes, uh, it's not clear. You say you can write because in this sentence because is the result I, that is what I lost. Okay, the main idea of the sentence is many students with disabilities have much better access to information than in traditional classrooms. That's the main idea. Mm -hmm. Now, the, um, the, the verb or the action is, or no, better said the verb, sorry. The verb is have much better access, right? So the question is why? Why do they have much better access? And the answer is because, because computers. computers can accommodate physical limitations with text to speech. That is what you say, it's a, print, it's a connector. Controls mm -hmm. and other adaptions. Yes, it's a connector because I could literally switch it around and say mm -hmm. many students yes, with disabilities have much better access to information than in traditional classrooms because computers can accommodate physical limitation with text-to-speech, text enlargeable print, foot and mouth operated controls, and other adapters, or sorry, adaptions. But when you change the, 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 order? the order, we have to write one comma there after because, right? No, or no without comma. comma. Because, okay. no, because it's a connector. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just like, just like words like if, when, okay. you know, you if, if they go in the middle of a sentence, they don't, there's no commas. Okay. Okay. Como vamos? It's clear for everybody? Yes, teacher. Now it's clear like your chata. Entonces es trampa, es, porque entonces no están, because no es parte del ejercicio de un transition, wow. porque no es transition, es no, connector. But, it's, it's connected. <laughs> but remember, here it says additional transition review, so we're, we're reviewing those 
additional like here we're constantly off topic. <laughs> no, no, it's not that it's off topic. It's just that um they are connectors, mm -hmm. but um they like at the same time uses the transition. Okay, like tr basically transitions are connectors. Mm. Right, they are connectors. Yes, I'm passing from they are a specific type of connector. Yeah, and okay. they are connectors at the beginning of a sentence that connect two separate ideas, two I two ideas in two different sentences. Whereas other connectors like because they are connecting two ideas in one sentence. Does that make sense for you now? Yes? Yes, for me it makes sense now. Okay, so we, we're practicing here the connectors, uh, but of course you're going to, you're, the majority of these are additional transitions. We had a big responsibility is to write for a uh, formal uh, newspaper or something like oh, that. Yeah. We need to keep all this form. Yeah, and not, not people. Are from right. Mm -hmm. are from no, but, <laughs> right. Are from right. Real Academia Española. Oh, <laughs> but that is in Spanish. But but yeah. imagine in English uh, when you yeah. read all these articles in the, I, ¿cómo se llama revista? ¿Cómo se llama? Me olvido, ¿cómo se Magazines. Esa Magazine. cosa. In the magazines, it's not a, just a simple paragraph. I mean. You need to take care of the way how you use all these so that's, transition words. That's why you can you, you yeah, that's why you can use those apps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. it's a big responsibility. It is. It is. Okay. Anyways, so everybody understands why because is there. Si no, si no hablen. <laughs> uh -huh. No, no solo me, se me quedan viendo así como, como que. Como... Pregúntele uno por uno, mejor pregúntenle. ¿no? Vamos a llegar a la tienda. Una interrogación, ¿verdad? No se queden como niños perdidos en el parque. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey. And for you is clear, Yuri. Oh, bastante. <laughs> No, in serio. No, no, but guys, seriously, I, I really, I want to help you guys, but I can only help you if you tell me what's the problem. For me, in my case, with the explanation you just gave, yes, now it's clear. No, I don't okay. know the rest. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to need your guys' opinion because... So, in, Chicos, yo aquí estoy dispuesta a ayudarles y explicarles cuantas veces quieran. Si quieren 100 veces, les explico 100 veces. Pero lo único que necesito que me, que me digan, ¿verdad? Teacher, necesito entender esto mejor. ¿verdad? Porque lo contrario, si no dicen nada, yo supongo que todo está claro. ¿Verdad? Entonces. For me, it's clear. Okay. Now with your explanation, it's clear. Ok. Good. So I know for you two it's clear, but I'm just wondering what the, about the rest of the class. I want to know what's going on. You can open your microphone. I bang. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to ask one by one because you guys are way too quiet right now. Okay, so I know Jose. Um, it's so clear. Ronald? It's clear. It's clear. Uh, After the explanation, yes. Okay. All right. Edgar? So, so, teacher. So, so. Okay. Tell me, what is the, what, what is the question? What question do you have? Um, in the in the moment and, and use use the transition. In um, moment do they work the, the transition? Uh -huh, yeah. The transition the is also. used. The transition is used to connect two sentences mm -hmm. 
together. To show there is a relationship between the first sentence and the second sentence. Like, o sea, ¿cómo, cómo se relacionan el primer or la primera oración con la segunda? ¿Sí? Esa es básicamente la, 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 la función del transition. Uh -huh. Relacionarlo no es unirlo, sino relacionarlo. Ajá. Son diferentes cosas. Sí, ¿no? correcto. ¿Sí? Ajá. Relacionarlo, sí. Porque unirlo, Relacionar. no vamos a unirlo, porque para unirlo no estamos, digamos, ¿no? necesitamos hacer los lo dos oraciones en uno. Ajá. Pero no queremos hacer dos oraciones en uno. Es, respetamos que hay una oración y después otra oración. Ok. Ok, ok. Ok. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Edgar? No, teacher. Ok. All right. Uh, Claudia? It's great, teacher. Ok. Andrés? It's clear, teacher. Ok. Very good. Uh, Urban? Ok, teacher. Okay. okay. All right, good. Um, quiero ver qué más. Um, Irene? Okay, teacher. Okay. Um, Ivan? I will, teacher. I just uh, practice the rules. Okay. That's all. Okay. Josué? Is clear. Okay. Um, Juan Francisco. Yes, it's clear. Okay. Jury. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, Luis. Everything okay, teacher. Okay. Um, Wendy. Is clear, teacher. Okay. And Yvonne? It's okay, teacher. Okay. ¿Ya le pregunté a todos? ¿Alguien se me haya quedado? Mm, me, teacher. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, sorry, Heidi. A ver, a ver por qué no la miraba. Uh, Heidi, how do you feel about this? Uh, I think I need more practice, maybe. You to mean, make sure. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can send you guys more practice later. Yeah, that's not a problem. I can do that. Okay. But but do you have questions, Heidi? No, no, it's okay. Okay. All right. Alguien más que se me haya quedado? Me teach you. Ah, Warner. Okay. Yes, I understand but almost review maybe okay so it's, it's clear okay good okay let's move on then let's go for this last one of this the last one one no no yes the last one of the of the paragraph Innovation. Mm, yes. In addition, or? However. Mm, no. Moreover. Yes. Or? Sim or? Sim similar. Yes. Similar. Similar, similarly? Yes, similarly. 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 Similar. Similarly. 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 Stressing the first one, similarly? Yes, similarly. Ah. Similarly. Similar. Okay. 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 Very good. And. Okay, next one. So similar, uh, so in addition, moreover, similarly, it's slower students or language learners 
who need to learn to hear material more than once can read or listen repeatedly and learn at their own pace. The disadvantages of online learning can be reduced. Can be reduced. Because? No. And there And there, there's a clue here. The comma is before. But. Sorry? But. Very good. But. But its benefits are increasing with each, with each new technology. We use the word but. So um, but is also a, um, a, it's a connector. Actually, you guys, um, to be completely honest, the but is part of the, remember the, the fanboys? You guys remember that we talked about fanboys a while ago? Mm -hmm. So but is part of those fanboys, those connectors, okay? But. Remember the, the, the but is, is the word of the boy, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the B of, uh, that starts with the boy. Mm -hmm. so, um, so with that, we always put a comma before, okay? So in this case, it's before, not after. Mm -hmm. So, but its benefits are increasing with each new technology. Mm -hmm. What's next? Mm -hmm. And this one's a transition because if you notice, there's a comma here. So it's not just like any connection. Innovation, whatever. Mm, no, this one's actually a contrast. The transition also. Mm -hmm. So what is it? Although? No, although yellow sound. Mm -hmm. And although we can't notice that. Uh, there's, yes. There's, it's not, although it's not also a transition because there's no comma. Exactly. Right. What was that? I heard something. Somebody mentioned something, I don't. Uh-huh, what, what, what could go next? However, okay, however. How do you say however in Spanish? Mm, no. Uh -huh. Sin, embargo. Sin embargo. Sin embargo. So, however, so it's a con it's a it's a transition that shows a contrast. However, online learning does not need to be either or. In many cases, it can be combined with traditional classroom learning to get the best of both worlds. Traditional classrooms can use online com components like flipped learning to make the best use of teacher time. Online classes um, uh, serving a fairly small geographic area can begin with an orient orientation on campus so students and teachers can meet and interact face-to-face. Face, also. What's the one that is missing? That's the last one. Also, even. Even, that's the one that, yeah. yes, even. Even in international classrooms, a group of students in the same area can meet and socialize. The possibilities are limited only, only by teacher and student immigration. Sorry, imagination, sorry. Okay, so there you go. That's it. All right, so what do you guys think of this article? Do you think this article was written during the pandemic or before the pandemic? During during the pandemic. During I guess. the pandemic. After. After. No, we're still during the pandemic. Before <laughs> the pandemic. The pandemic yet. We wish we had finished the pandemic, but not yet. Mm -hmm. the, this article was wrote before the pandemic. In the pandemic. 
Yeah, it seems to me that Doing. it seems to me that this is before the pandemic. Mm. And I'll tell you why. Notice that they um, they mention things like that um, you like what I was mentioning before that um, that you cannot have like the, the, the face to face interaction, right? Because of course, even by Skype, you can't have a big class through Skype. No, right? I guess that only can be by two people with Skype. Now, during the pandemic, we came up with these um, many ad applications where you are able to use, um, you know, face-to-face -face interaction. But that was more during the pandemic, right? Mm -hmm. Like before the pandemic, we really didn't know this. Like we really didn't know that we could actually see everybody, right? Like nowadays, you can um, have a a Zoom meeting that is up to about 300 people, I think, or even more, I think, I'm not sure. But I think, I think I've seen, I've, I've been in ones that are even 300 people, right? So, you know, that's a lot. And before the pandemic, we didn't have that. Like we, the only thing that we were limited to was these things like Skype, chat, instant messaging, but we didn't have that face-to-face -face interaction. So, in a way, yes, the pandemic has been, you know, something terrible that has happened, but in a way it's helped us to be able to move on and open our minds. Like how many of you would probably be studying this way if it wasn't because of the pandemic, right? So it's, a, you know, if you, if you want to, you can always see the good in every situation, yeah? Okay, so that's it guys. Any questions about the transition review? That's our teacher, but we completed it. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys did great. So all you got to keep in mind are that um, these words here, like in addition, moreover, similarly, those are for adding information. Words like however are for a contrast, right? Also, the word but is a contrast. But the word but is um, a connector that connects two ideas in the same sentence. So it's not a transition. Okay. Also, and which other you say that is to just to connect? Uh, the word like also in um, what we call fanboys. Um, I think, I think uh, you were not here when we talked about fanboys, right, Jose? Yes, the true. Were you here or no? No, I oh. wasn't here. Yeah, so uh, here. you weren't here. Okay, so fanboys are um, connectors, but we call them fanboys because um, I'm gonna and I'm gonna write in the chat because I think it's easier for you guys to see it that way. So in the, in, we call them fanboy because they are words like for and nor. But, or, yet, and so. So if you notice, uh, the letters of each of the beginning words mm -hmm. spells out um, fanboys. Boys. Yeah, that's why we call it's them fanboys. Right? I will look for that, for mm -hmm. that topic. Yeah, so those words connect two ideas in one sentence. And uh, transitions connect two ideas in two separate sentences. Okay? Okay. But it was a topic for the, the, the previous course, right? Or, yes. Uh, I think I'm mistaken. So. I think so. Yeah, probably. I, yeah, because I, I think I I think I saw this. No, but, but it wouldn't be the previous course because, um, Jose, you were with us in the previous course, right? Yes, the true. Yeah, so but maybe he wasn't here in the in, in that class. Yeah. yeah, could be, but you he would have seen it in the, in, in the platform. So I don't know. It could have I will been. look. I will look for that class teacher, and I will review it. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. All right. So we're gonna stop sharing, guys.
because I need to take the attendance. We're way past our time. Um, okay. So, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Good. Andres. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Claudia. Present teacher. Great. Um, Edgar. Present teacher. Great. Ervin. Present teacher. Excellent. Um, Heidi. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Irene. Present teacher. Uh, great. Uh, Ivan. Present teacher. Excellent. Um, Jose Montes. Jose Antonio. I don't know who is. I'm oh, sorry, Jose Wilfredo. Sorry. <laughs> Present teacher. Okay, sorry. Uh, Jose. Present teacher. Okay, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Jury. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Luis. Present teacher. Natalia. Natalia. I guess she had some problems there. Um, Ronald. Ronald. Uh, I don't know if he's having internet problems. Ronald, you there? Yeah. I think he's frozen. Okay. All right, let's continue. Uh, Wendy? Present. Okay. Werner? Present teacher. Anyone? Present. Wonderful. Okay. All right, guys. Now what we're gonna do. Mm. Okay. So after we're doing this. We're gonna um, we're gonna do the pra let's practice. So join your assigned breakout room. After carrying out the focus group questions in your groups, right, um, and writing down your focus groups answers, return to your original groups. Report your findings to your classmates. Discuss how you can improve the product and the focus group questionnaire. So this is basically a report of what we learned, what we did last class. Okay, so you guys carried out the um, focus group um, questionnaire, right? Um, and what we're gonna do is, is uh, put you guys back into the groups and you're going to discuss these two things. So how you can improve the product because obviously your, your classmates have given you feedback and how you can improve the questionnaire um, that you made for the focus group. Sounds good? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, I'm not gonna give you guys too, too much time because we're a little bit uh, short on time right now. So I'm only gonna give you guys like 10 minutes, I think. Okay. All right, so, but what I'm gonna have to help um, get, get your guys' help on is um, we're creating the groups from scratch again. Um, tell me who your original group is. The one that for the product, okay? Not, not the group, not the focus group. The one for the product. The one we, with, with uh, the one we made the swap. Yes, the one oh. with the swap. Okay, Ana Claudia? I was working with Ervin and Irene. All right, um, Andres? That's the, the questionnaire feature. This is the, the SWOT one, right? Where you were, mm -hmm. the one where you're creating the product. Mm, with Werner and Jury, I think. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, Claudia? Yes, I know. 
Luis and Ivan. No, Edgar. Oh, Edgar, sorry. Okay. Um, Heidi? I'm trying to remember. Uh, with me. Okay. Okay, Jose and with me, Juan Francisco and Wendy. Ivan, eh, uh, can that be sorry. possible? Uh -huh, uh -huh. because sorry, my you had it. I was asleep. No, no, no. <laughs> you will write. And, and, and Heidi <laughs> has the other problem. Yes, yes. I have the one. I confused. Heidi, the... ha Heidi has the mask. The product is the mask, the washable mask. Who else has the washable mask? Did you guys do washable masks? I get it. Yes. Okay. I, I'll tell you with Juan Francisco, right? Juan Francisco? Yes, yes. Okay. Juan Francisco uh, and? Wendy. Um, Okay. All right. Um, Ivan. Uh, with Natalia and Yvonne. Okay. And Josue. I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Um. I think, Josue, if I'm not mistaken, I added you to a group because the day that we created it, you were not here. So then I added you to the group. But in other words, who did you create the questionnaire with? Um, the questionnaire with uh, Ivan. Uh, you created it with Ivan. Yeah, Ivan, I think. Um, Okay, you created hey, Ivan and Yvonne. Hey, Ivan, yeah, yeah, Ivan. Okay, and Ronald? I work with Jury. Jury. Okay. But, okay, but everybody has a group. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm only gonna give you 10 minutes, okay? So what you're doing is you are going back to your group, you're reporting what, what the focus group questionnaire, like the, the, you're reporting what they told you and you're seeing what you can do to improve the product and to improve questions, okay? So let's open up all the rooms here. Wendy? 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 Okay. 
Okay. It is good. Yeah, this is converted. Okay. It's very, very easy the, the question for. Uh, ¿Cómo se por, for, re, ¿cómo se dice respuesta de, de las personas? Answer. Yeah. Okay. This is um uh in me in me pues the ¿cómo se dice? Ah. Cuando hice el cuestionario estas fueron las respuestas, so, digamos, de how do you, you ever eaten a bono bon chocolate? Yes or no? Ah, okay, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, who satisfies? Are you with your products? Uh, very satisfied, three personas. Yes, not very satisfied, zero, not satisfied at zero. Mm -hmm. And uh, ese es, es uh, el mecanismo. Es, mm -hmm. Como para no, como se dice, escribir mucho, no sé. Write too much. Write, write too much, teacher. This is a, and the question is the yes or no. Or, is a, okay, here is the, the sumarlas. What is it? That sumar, la de ustedes, la de, la de todos. Mm -hmm. Yo tengo, bueno, pero que en la primera tenía, how satisfied are you? Try to practice in English, guys. Sorry? Try to practice in English. Okay. And the first one I have, from one to 10, how satisfied are you with, with our product? That's the first question that I have. Yeah, the one question. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is one. This is the idea four and uh, two zero. They have very abominable chocolate. Mm Okay. I think that the the first one you have is the second one. Okay. In my case, I have one, two, three. But I have and the first I have one. I've been in the same group with with Yuri. Yes. Okay. This is on. And the very satisfies, uh, not not satisfied. Oh. We, we must to be take care about the environment. Mm -hmm. Okay, and number five, what of the following items are you recycling? They say paper, plastic, cans, and we have, in a, and they are glass. Glass, yes. Yeah, glass. Ah, okay. Glass. Mm -hmm. All of them were recycling? Yes. Mm, lucky you, because in my focus group, just one <laughs> was recycling. Yes. Number six, would you like to use an environmentally friendly bottle? They, uh, they, they would agree and they say yes, all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, number seven, why please? Uh, why? Mm -hmm. and they say because they are friendly with nature and they are agree 
that we need improve our 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 culture about to be careful for next for the environment mm -hmm. like and number eight Um, one more one year. Yes. Okay. Meditation five. Number five. Mm -hmm. Um, Claudia and Luis, are you guys having problems with the the camera? Okay. Um, yes, teacher. I am. Uh, I'm having a little. Um, I have my thumb with the with the internet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. I have the yeah, I can see you now. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. Okay. I just was wondering. Okay. <laughs> uh, question number five. Mm -hmm. yes. How often? Do you use, do you use our service? Yes. In my case, uh, one answer was uh, uh, one a week, not two. Yes, two answer was uh, once a week. Mm -hmm. and, and one answer was more than one time a week. Can you repeat this? Can you hear me well? Uh -huh, two. Yeah. Once a week. Mm -hmm. And one more than one time a week. Okay. You are that? In, in my case, um, two once a month and uh, one every 15, 15 days. Okay. In my case, two every 15 days and two once a week. Once a month. Okay. Um, Next. Uh, the people say me honest person, excellent service, and responsible people. The first area, honest people. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you? In my case, uh, two people say, um, um, it's a very nice service. Okay. And, and one says, uh, and the service is quickly. It's quick, sorry. Okay. Um, in my case, um, the service they offer is very good and the products are good. Question six, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Number six. But if we have the the materials that are certified, I guess that there is no problem. Yes. Okay. The question number uh, six or five. Why, I guess. Four, no, four. Four? Uh, how much do you consider to pay for the product? Yeah. They say $5. Five dollars. Me too. $5. <laughs> yeah. You got that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Wendy? How do you say tacaño in English? How do you say tacaño in English, teacher? Any idea? Sorry? Do you guys have any idea? Anybody else have an idea? Uh, 
Stingy? No. Yeah, very close. Stingy. Stingy. Okay. Stingy. So you got the stingy? Stingy. Uh, stingy. stingy. Yeah, stingy. Mm -hmm. uh, number five. Yeah, in my focus group, they said five dollars. Most of them. Mm -hmm. uh, priority. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In my focus group, uh, yeah. like the chirurgical, surgeon. because it's more expensive. The surgical. Expensive, yes. Surgical. 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 Yeah. Surgical. Mm -hmm. Okay. What did you think when you saw the product for the first time? I liked it. Good looking. Liked it. The interesting. Breathes better. Like it and looking. In my case, uh, my focus group say uh, it can look nice, nice color, and it's very comfortable. Oh. In my focus group, um, and they say uh, this is very nice for your design. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and how did you know about the product? In my case, all of them found, found out uh, uh, through social media. Mm -hmm. In my focus group, they say is Facebook and social media. Social media too. Mm -hmm. um, for social media, um, when was promotion in the mall? <laughs> the question number. City. Oh yeah, I I I don't hear about that. Is it new <laughs> for me? But yeah, uh, I can try to 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 bout. Yeah, there are there there's a uh, long. It it's mm. not only for the for the hands. Interesting. Are you guys finished with your report? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. We, even we have the charts. Oh, wonderful! Did you? <laughs> Did you discuss uh, how you can improve the product? Mm, not, not a product. We discuss about the service. The experience. The service. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, uh, because you, you guys are doing... No, what are you doing? What, what, what are you doing? Salon. Ah, beauty salon. Beauty salon, yes. By Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Natalie. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. All right, yes, yeah, so you're, you're the ones with the nails and everything. Okay, <laughs> okay, got it. Okay, sounds good. All right, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay.
Okay. So guys, um, I'm hoping that you were able to share your report. Uh, were you able to discuss on how to make the product better or the service better? Yeah? Okay. I want you to keep that in mind because we are we're going to continue using the same group or we're, we're look we're we're moving on with the different stages of the product, okay? So keep those things in mind. All of those suggestions on how to make the product better, keep them in mind because you're going to be needing it in the next few classes, okay? In the meantime, I'm going to share this part with you guys, and I want you to tell me if you can see my screen, my PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. now we can see your screen. Wonderful, okay. So what does prototype mean? Um... Is the product back, the product like a type or copy of the final product, but in scale? It's the first model of product. Ah, the model, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Good, okay. Yes, very good. The first model of the product. That's a wonderful way of putting it, excellent. Now, what type of new products, in your opinion, required the building of a prototype before mass production? So before we produce it in big quantities, which one do you, which type of products do you think need a prototype before? What type of new products? I guess that all of them, teacher, because if you don't make a prototype, uh, maybe if you made uh, the production for the mass of the product, uh, you can you could lose a lot of money. Okay. Do you That's all agree with that? Yeah. You all agree with that? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, does your company make use of prototypes? Yes, teacher, yes. Yes? In your company, do you guys um, have prototypes? Oh, for a real life? Yeah. Yes, yeah, no, I'm, not, I'm, I'm talking about in your-, I, in your To in be company. honest, teacher, I, I really don't know because the company is so old. Okay. So what do you guys, do you, do you know anything about your company and in terms of uh, the product that they, they make? Do they have prototypes? Do they make the prototypes before they make the mass production? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. We yeah. have a kind of. Okay, good, good, excellent. Now, probably like with the prototypes, we're talking here about a product, right? Not a service, right? We can't, we're not talking about a service. We're talking about a, a, an actual product. So we can't really make a prototype of a service. It has to be of a product. Okay, so Tom and Diana are discussing ideas to begin prototyping a new bicycle model. Read the conversation and take turns practicing. So here's our conversation between Diana and Tom. Um, as usual, I'm going to read the conversation and I want you guys to practice after me so you can open up your microphone. Here we go. The X elevator has green light to be produced. The X elevator has green light to be produced. Now, 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 we need to work. We need to work, to work on the prototype. On the, on the prototype. 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 Good. So it's not proto. It's not really prototype. Proto. Unless you are in, in the in uh, the United Kingdom. Prototype. But if you're in the United in the United States, you're gonna pronounce it proto prototype. Proto. Prototype. 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 Great. 
Great. Great. I think our best choice. I, I think, think our best, best choice, 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 choice is to hire steel masters. Is to hire, to hire steel, 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 steel masters. Steel master. So they build. So, so they build. build. They, so they build. A good prototype. A good, a good prototype. prototype. To help us spot. To help to us help spot, spot. Any flaw. Any, any flaw. 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 We haven't identified. We, we haven't, haven't identified, identified in the design. In the design. design. I agree, Tom. I, I agree, agree Tom. Tom. The prototype. The prototype, the prototype, the prototype will help. Will help, will help, help our manufacturers. Our, our manufacturers. manufacturers to be very accurate. To be, be very, very accurate. accurate. With the design, with the design, the design of the handlebars. Of the handlebars. The, handlebar. the, handlebar. the frame. The frame. The frame. And the saddle. And the saddle. And the saddle. The saddle. Which are the innovative features which, which are, are the innovative features? Features. Features. Of the accelerator. Of the accelerator. Good point. Good point. Good point. Good point. Good point. In addition, in addition, addition the prototype. The prototype. Will ensure, will we'll ensure communication is clear. Communication, communication is, clear. is clear. They will know. They, they will know, know exactly what we want. Exactly, exactly what, we want. what we want. Totally. 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 Then, 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 I'll work on the sketch. I work, I work the on the sketch of the parts of the parts, of the parts. Of the parts. And, you and you might want and you may want, want to start to start, to start with the description with, with the description, description and specifications and, and specifications specifications, specifications. 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 Of each. Of each. So steel masters. So steel masters. Start working. Start working. Right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. I'm okay. going to get you guys to work in breakout rooms. And what you're going to do now is you're going to practice this conversation and answer these questions. Okay. I'm going to do this, open it up only for five minutes. And we're going to get you to work in groups, uh, sorry, in pairs. Okay. Starting now. Wendy? 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 Are you there? Wendy?
I'm almost there. Twenty five, you said, right? Yes, twenty five. Okay, I found it. Ready? Go ahead. Okay. Okay. The accelerator has green light to be produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Prototype. Great. I think our best choice is to hire steel masters. So they build a good prototype to help us spot any flaw we haven't identified in the design. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the handlebars, the frame and the saddle, which are the innovative features of the accelerator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally. Right. Then sure. I'll work on the sketch of the parts and you might want to start with the description and the specification of each. So as the masters start working. All right. Okay. Now we can switch. Okay. The accelerator has green light to be produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Great. I think our best choice is to hire steel masters. So they build a good prototype to help us spot any flaw when having identified in that design. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be accurate with the design of the handlebars, the frame and the saddle, which are the innovative features of the accelerator. Accelerator. Good point. In addition, the frame, the frame and the saddle, which are in the innovative feature of the X. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly we want, we, what we want. Totally. Then I will work on the escape of the part and we might, might want to start with the description and a specification of each. So a steel master start working. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we finish. Did you guys answer the questions? No, no did you? Yet. And answer the questions then. Okay. No questions there. Scroll down the screen. Well done, uh, teacher. You done? Okay. Yes. You, you answered the questions too? No, we haven't answered the question. Teacher. Sorry, I didn't hear we had to answer the question. Yeah. What are the two reasons? work. Yeah. Hi, guys. Are you finished? Yes. Yes. You answer the questions? Yes. Yeah? Okay, good. I'll see you guys in the main room then. Hi, guys. Are you finished? Dice, which are the innovative features of the accelerator? Innovative. Oh, thanks. Innovative. 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 Innovative, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, innovative. Mm. You guys um, finished? Almost. No, teacher. Almost, no? yes. Okay. Hello, Andres. 
Hello, teacher. I, it's raining, so I have problem with the connection. Okay, I understand. All right. You were not worth working with anybody, right? Yes, I was working with Ivan and Luis. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to close the groups right now. Okay. I'll we'll invite everybody back. Okay, all right guys, um, I hope you were all able to get the answers. So um, we're gonna be checking the answers tomorrow, okay? So here we go, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right, good. Um, Andres. Present teacher. Great, Claudia. Edra? Present teacher. Urban? Present teacher. Heidi? Present teacher. Irene? Present teacher. Good. Um, Ivan? Present teacher. Okay, great. Um, Jose Antonio? Antonio? No, right? Uh, Jose Wilfredo. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Right. Um, Jerry? Jerry? Luis? Present teacher. Um, Natalia? Um, Natalia, no. Ronald? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Wendy? Wendy? And Werner? Present teacher. Okay, and Yvonne? Present. Okay, very good. All right. Um, ayer me solamente me faltaron Jerry y Jessica, Josué, I'm here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Josué. Okay, sorry, I didn't. Josué? No worry, here, present. Okay. All right, thank you. Um, ayer solo me faltaron Jerry y ¿Qué más? Y Erwin, ¿verdad? O me faltó alguien más. No? Ok. Ok. So today, hoy me quedo con Ronald. Ok. Everybody else, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you. Bye. See you Good, night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, Ronald. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? Okay, teacher. ¿Cómo, bien, cómo, bien. Está? ¿Cómo está el clima en México? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo está el clima en México? Está, llo está lloviendo bastante. Aquí. ¿En México? Y la señal muy mala. <risa> ah, no, en México no. No sé, ahorita no <risa> estoy. <risa> <laughs> okay. <Sí. laughs> I know. Okay. Uh, what can I help you with? What are you having problems mm. with? What questions do you have? Cuénteme. No. Por el momento ninguna. Todavía. De veras? No. Yo solo como. 
Ok, eh, ¿cómo vamos con la plataforma? ¿Algún problema? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Alguna duda? Okay, en la plataforma empecé con, con la unidad 3, pero ahí sí me, me he trabado porque como es de completar, pero no sé cómo. Uh -huh. Me imagino que lo vamos a ir viendo. ¿no? Sí, a medida que vayamos bien, sí. Correcto. Um, bye. Y bueno, una cosa que puede hacer es empezar con el, eh, el examen final. Eh, acuérdense que el, el examen final, bueno, lo vemos, sí tiene que entregar al final el curso, entonces en prácticamente dos semanas. Pero yo que usted diría día a día. ¿Verdad? Para que de esa forma no se la cumpla. Okay. ¿Verdad? No lo tenga que hacer hasta el último momento, ¿verdad? Y estarse depelando. Así que a medida que vayamos viendo la información, puede ir avanzando con eso. ¿Y el examen final, dónde se? Ahí también es la misma plataforma, ¿o dónde? Sí, sí, es la misma plataforma. No, no la he visto. Lo, no, no lo he visto. Se lo voy a enseñar. Necesito... Okay. Ok, so, ahorita lo voy a lo voy a proyectar y a mí se lo puede ver. ¿Puede ver mi, mi pantalla? Sí. Ok. Entonces, sí, la puedo ver. Va a esa sección 1. Eh, la sección 2 va a encontrar las dos partes. Va a ir unidad 1, espera, unidad 2 y el metro. Lo mismo va a pasar en la unidad 4. En la 3, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Pero en la 4, C2, mire. Y el 4 y el final exam. Aquí está. Mm -hmm. Ahí lo va a encontrar. Si bien, ah, usted, ya lo entendí. Lo abre, así como, como hizo el examen, el midterm, ¿verdad? Y aquí está. Entonces, ah, okay. consiste de cuatro partes. ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, puede intentar hacerlo como es multiple choice, más fácil todavía. Puede intentar hacerlo. Eh, esta obviamente no lo hemos visto aún, pero... Ah, no, no quiero ver. Sí, eso creo que sí lo vimos. Sí, me parece que sí, ya lo vimos. Um, sí, ese sí lo hemos visto. Este... Este creo que sí, no. Todavía no lo hemos visto. Pero el otro sí lo puede empezar a hacer. Uh, ah, va, va, y, y de hecho, esto también es um, de vocabulario. Eh, puede puede um, también empezar con eso, ¿verdad? Y lo bueno, como son multiple choice, más fácil todavía. Eso son. Sí. Ok. ¿Alguna pregunta que tenga? En este examen, sí, es igual que los demás. O sea, si uno se equivoca, él puede dar espacio de, sí. de arreglarlo. Uh -huh. ah, sí. Okay. Sí. Me da chance de arreglarlo. Es más, yo creo que, no sé si me equivoco. Ya, ya voy a solo déjenme revisar algo. Te lo digo yo rápido. Ahora no, no me está ayudando. No, ya, ya casi llego ahí. Solo de un momento. Quiero ver, quiero ver. No, no. Sí, correcto. Sí. Eh, de hecho, lo que yo estaba notando es que en sus, um, en sus unidades anteriores, eh, sacó un poquito menos del 100, pero si usted quiere, puede, puede volver a, a, a esos ejercicios que le hizo mal. Posiblemente que solo fue como un ejercicio en cada unidad y entonces ya se saca el 100, ¿verdad? No, o sea, no, no le queda esa nota si usted, si usted sigue practicando y lo, lo okay. tiene bien la próxima vez. Solo fue como... Sí, creo que solo un no, ejercicio que quizás se equivocó y por eso le sacó un poquito menos del 100. Pero sí, usted si quiere, si quiere no hay, o sea, si quiere lo hace, si no lo deja así, no hay problema, ¿verdad? Pero, pero sí, eh, en, el, 
el examen final es igual, usted puede practicar cuantas veces quiera. Y si así siempre le va a ser. Ah, ok, ok. Ok. ¿Alguna otra? Ah, bueno, voy a empezar de una sola vez. Ajá, sí. Cabal. ¿Alguna otra preguntita? Que no, te... no, no, no. ¿No? ¿Seguro? No, por el momento no. no. Sí, okay. sí. Ok. Bye. Entonces, eh, sí, eso sería todo. Um, sí, y acuérdense que siempre he visto a, a pendientes, si necesitan ayuda, solamente escríbame en el WhatsApp, ya sea en el chat del, del, del grupo, o si me prefiere, me más cómodo, uh, así, mandándome un, un mensaje personal, también lo puede hacer a, a, mi, a mi WhatsApp personal. Okay. Así que cualquier. Okay, está bien. Pase buena noche, entonces. Ajá, sí, claro. O si tiene alguna eh, duda o sugerencia o comentario acerca de algo, ahí también estamos disponibles. ¿Ok? Va, está bien. Bye. Gracias, muy amable. You're welcome. Take care, Ronald. Sí, sí. Ok, bye. bye.